what I'm gonna show you right away is the setup of the troll as you can see there's a square uh, two by two square with the blue gate yellow gate green gate red gate and about three out from the red gate there's a red cones uh, same thing with the yellow three out from the yellow gate there's a yellow and uh, three out from the green gate there's a green cones I set up up there the way these things work is very simple um, the player is in the middle of the uh, uh, the square uh, without the ball and then the passer is uh, about three yards away from uh, the blue gate uh, where the cone will be the blue cone will be and he has the balls okay and then what he's gonna do is uh, play the balls all right and name any color all right if I said yellow the player is gonna go all the way to the yellows and do a step over all right move to change of direction come back to the gate and then play if i play the ball to the player and say with the red that means he's gonna go to the red cones and do a pullback and come back and play the ball to the passer back to the passer if i said green is just helping the player going on to the green cones uh, and then apply uh, the do the coif and then come back and play if i said blue it's just to touch play the ball back to the passer if i don't say anything whatsoever the player needs to be sharp and ready to play one ball touch good. Right. very good buddy well done nice Well done, that's it. I like the speed you're trying to do it. Good job. Alright guys, uh, this is the uh, follow-up to the uh, draws. Um, this is for the advanced player. As you can see, I reduced the uh, square to uh, one by one just to make it tighter uh, for this advanced player to control the ball uh, and stuff like that. But also the things I changed for the green gate, there's three cones, so he has to dribble in and out of the cones and come back. For the yellow, it's just to be the defender, all right, uh, forwards and then come back to the square. And the other things that we can do, we can stall on the ball on the count, but has the high players getting comfortable and really being sharp, challenging that player as much as we can by delaying the instruction, the information a little bit late, playing the ball a bit quicker, and if they're really sharp, now we start throwing the ball up in the air a little bit. Not only they're gonna have to think about the awareness where they're gonna go, know exactly what needs to happen, but also, just being able to react to it, control the ball and not let get away with them. It's a multitasking, it's what the game is about. Being able to just, uh, you know, come up with decisions, informations quick and go. Do it to the highest of your speed. You can start slow. Again, we don't want this to be frustrating, but do not forget to warm up before getting to
All right, again, the setup of the same thing I done. If you don't have cones, you can see I use different pair of shoes, different color, red, orange, gray, white. And as long as you have a target that's placed three out of the way, all right, you're good. All, right, all that matters is the gate color. And now you got all of these, and also you have your silver that's gonna be in the gray, all right, in this scenario, all right, with the balls waiting, all right, pretty much to go on. All right, again, just an idea that uh, you can do this type of stuff, no equipment needed, just, you know, just, just trying to uh, be clever with your ideas, all right, trying to, uh, you know, come up with things, improvise as much as you can to uh, have yourself and get in your workout, all right? Hope you enjoy it, have fun, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.